I want to talk to you about subtraction. Subtraction is kind of nasty. It, has, it doesn't have very many good properties that we like. For instance, 6 minus 2 is not equal to 2 minus 6. Why? Because 6 minus 2 is 4 and 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So obviously 4 is not equal to negative 4. So subtraction is not commutative. And the example we just gave is 6 minus 2 is not equal to 2 minus 6. There's other things wrong with subtraction. For instance, subtraction is not associative. So an example of that would be 9 minus 4 grouped minus 1 is not equal to 9 minus parentheses 4 minus 1. And we can go through this just to prove it to ourselves. 9 minus 4 is 5 minus 1. Uh, and then on the other side we have 9. Well, 4 minus 1 is 3, so 9 minus 3. Those are not equal because 5 minus 1 is 4 and 9 minus 3 is 6. So subtraction is not associative. And there's another reason subtraction is not that great. But first, let's just write our example down. So our example here was 9 minus 4 parentheses minus 1, or parentheses 9 minus 4 and parentheses minus 1, is not equal to 9 minus parentheses 4 minus 1. Okay, another reason that subtraction is not that great is because sometimes it can be confusing with the order of operations. So for instance, 10 minus 6 plus 2. Maybe we're not sure, should we do subtraction first or should we do the addition first? So we think of the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And that looks like we're supposed to do addition first. Addition becomes, or it comes before subtraction. So this would be 10 minus 8 which would be 2. But that's wrong. That is the wrong answer. What we forgot is that what the order of operations really says is then what is when you have only subtraction and addition left, do everything from left to right. So this is really 10 minus 6, which is 4, plus 2, which is equal to 6. And that's the right answer. So the third reason subtraction isn't that great is because subtraction can be confusing with the order of operations if we're not careful. And our example for this one is 10 minus 6 plus 2. But all is not lost. There's something we can do. We can actually turn subtraction into addition. Because a minus b is an abbreviation for a plus negative b. So let's look at our first example. How would that work? Well, 6 minus 2 is equal to 6 plus negative 2. And now since we're doing addition, we know this is commutative. So we can change the order. So now we have negative 2 plus 6. Notice in this example, the negative sign stays with the 2. In our original example, the negative sign went to the 6. That was the problem. The negative sign was on the wrong number. Okay, so when we think of subtraction as addition of a negative number, we get commutativity back. Uh, let, a, a little note about the notation here. Why do we put parentheses around the negative sign? It's really because doing it that way is ugly and unclear. And you might even confuse somebody if you're, if you're not very neat. So instead what we do is we put parentheses around the negative sign so that everything is really clear. If we look at this, it's very clear what we mean. We mean 6 plus negative 2. And now anybody looking at that will know exactly what you mean. Okay, so that's just a note about why we put parentheses around the negative sign. Let's talk about uh, what happens it, with associativity. 
when we think of subtraction as addition of a negative number? Well, subtraction really does uh, become associative again because we're turning it into addition. So let's just look at our example here. 9 minus 4, parentheses 9 minus 4, end parentheses, minus 1, is equal to 9 plus negative 4 plus negative 1. And now, this is all addition, and since addition is associative, it doesn't matter where we put the parentheses. Uh, we could put them around the 9 plus the negative 4, or we could put them around the negative 4 plus the negative 1. And why don't you try doing that at home? See if you get the same answer. You should, because addition is associative. Okay, and finally, let's look at our third example. Uh, does this fix the problem? So 10 minus 6 plus 2, if we think of this as 10 plus negative 6 plus 2. Now, if we do the negative 6 plus the 2 first, we would get negative 4 from that. So 10 plus negative 4, which is equal to 6. So even though we did the negative 6 plus the 2 first, we got the right answer. Okay, so the important thing to take away from this video is that subtraction is not commutative and it's not associative. But we can think of subtraction as addition of a negative number, and then we get all those nice properties back. Okay, see you in the next video.